Hello. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do my eyes. My eyes, your eyes. Um, everyone's always asking me how I do my makeup or who does my makeup or what makeup I use. Um, so I'm going to start doing like a load of makeup videos and hopefully you will like them. Um, so today I'm literally just going to do eyes now and show you some tips and tricks. I think there's probably some bits I can show you that you might not have seen before, hopefully, um, that are easy little um, tricks to just to make your life easier and to help you out when doing your makeup. Anyway, first thing first, melt stack. It's called a stack because it is a stack. So you've got clever. Uh, anyway, I'm using the second one down, and this is like a chestnut brown, big fluffy brush like that. Um, people are always on about blending, blending, blending. If you just use a big fluffy brush, that kind of does the job for you. So, I've already started here. Now, what you do is you just put it in the crease. And I take it a little bit further out as well, because my eyes are almond shaped. I kind of follow the shape of the eye, so I take it a bit further out from the corner. But... If you just put like a nice chestnut brown in the crease, it immediately opens your eyes up. So they look bigger. Uh, and that's really easy. So just a big fluffy brush brown in the crease of your eye opens the eye up. Lovely. Then I use, um, you can use any colour here, but I quite like it. It's a MAC pigment pot and it's in vanilla colour. And I just use like a normal little eyeshadow brush and I just fill in um, on the actual eyelid. And I like these pigment pots because they're quite um, intense from MAC. You know, it's quite a good coverage. So... If you, um, you know, if it ends up looking a bit messy, you can then just go back over your brown line with your fluffy brush, just to blend it in. Right, eyeliner, I use, this is just a cheap one, Rimmel out of Boots. It is called Glamise Liquid Liner. And the reason I like this, it's got a very long, very soft um, tip on the brush. So, you just draw on. Now I like to do the flick, but you just draw it on. Now the reason I like the soft brush on this is it doesn't drag across your eyelid. Um, some of them I find the brush is too hard and then it catches and drags on your eyelid and it you end up, you don't get a smooth line at all and also actually you probably end up damaging your eyes from it um, but this is very very soft brush it's lovely so and you just just keep building it up, building it up till you've got the exact shape you want and the exact line. You know, it's almost like colouring in with a felt tip pen. Huh. People will be laughing at that, thinking, yes, it is. People always say I wear too much makeup. That's people who don't understand the fun of makeup. Anyway, so you've got your line drawn on. From there, I would go straight to mascara, because while you're letting that dry... I would then just pop a bit of mascara on. Now, I, again, I just use a cheap one. This is, I don't even know, well, Rimmel again. Um, there's no point spending lots of money on really expensive eyeliners and mascaras um, unless they're some miracle product, you know, that, that works better than everything else. I think you do just as well with cheap stuff or the kind of high street stuff. Um, and... You know, there's certain things you need to spend money on, but I don't think mascara is one of them, unless it's going to 
literally give a full slash effect, which a lot of them claim to but don't, as we know, because we have to wear false lashes. If they gave a full slash effect, we wouldn't wear lashes, would we? Um, but no, I have come across some good mascaras, but just I do end up wearing lashes myself. So I'm only putting a little bit on anyway because I'm going to put lashes on and I'm going to show you a really good tip for how to put lashes on easily and quickly. Um, so that's that. Next I will go to the brow and here's what I do. I've got, it's a bit of a long winded process but it's worth it. So I've got just a little L'Oreal brow kit thing, that brow artist kit. And I've got a little kind of um, slanted brush. And there's two bits in here. You can see the one I've been using is nearly empty because you get like a wax and then a powder. And I use the powder and the brush. Now what this, with this, I just shape the brow. So to, to the shape that I want, I just kind of get a rough outline with the powder and the brush of where I want my brow to be now. I'm a um, child of the 80s and 90s and that being so, I plucked my brows away to nothing when I was a teenager. Worst thing I've ever done because you spend the rest of your life drawing them back in. Um, the best makeup tip you could ever give to your daughters is don't pluck your eyebrows. <laughs> um, and anyone who was born in the 70s or 80s will know that. Um, same as me, but it is literally the worst thing you could have ever done because nobody wants a browless face and by plucking them away, which was trendy in the 90s, we all end up with no brows and literally having to do this every day. So, once you've got your shape roughly to where you want it to be, I then get, da da da, where is it, there, one brow. Uh, Wonderbrow actually is a brilliant product. I gave it a go. Obviously, I saw the adverts like everybody else. And I do actually swear by it now. I do think it's a brilliant product. Not only because of how it looks when it's on, but it is waterproof. And therefore, you could put it on on holiday and it won't come off when you go in the sea or the swimming pool or whatever. So, it is brilliant. You can actually have proper brows drawn back on um, if, like me, you plucked them away to nothing. So, Wonderbrow, you literally paint it on. Now, it is quite thick and it's very wet, but it paints on quite nicely. So, you paint it on. That's why I do the powder first, because I want to get the shape of the brow before I just slap on the Wonderbrow, because now I can follow the line that I've made with the powder. But you put it on. Now, the great thing about Wonderbrow is it takes quite a while to dry. So if you make a mistake, all you need is cotton buds. Right, so look, I've made a mistake there, can you see? And you literally get a cotton bud and you go like that. Gone. Um, so because it takes so long to dry, you've got time to tweak it and fiddle. Um, and I just keep gently painting it on until I've got the exact shape of brow I want until I'm happy with it and like I say any mistakes doesn't matter it takes ages to dry any mistakes you make cotton bud and just wipe it off because it would take so long to dry now once you've got your brows how you want them to look um, to help it along, what I would then do is go back to my powder and my slanted brush and just dab a bit of powder into it and that helps it along to dry and to set and um, the powder kind of thickens it up a bit as well actually because um, obviously the whole point of Wonder Bros is it looks, it's like fibres so it looks like hair um, so it doesn't just look like you've painted on a big thick line. You know, it actually does look like you've got eyebrows. 
which is something I haven't had since the 90s. <laughs> oh, don't make myself laugh while I'm doing it. I do make myself laugh quite a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm starving and my belly's grumbling now. Right, so that's brows done, okay? Um, lashes. Are you ready for my lash trick? My lash trick is amazing. You're going to be blown away. Right. Glue onto hand. Very, very, very thin brush. That is the thinnest of the thin brushes you can possibly get. It's a MAC 210, I think it is. Um, paint it on following the line you've done with your eyeliner. All right. So you're dipping into the glue and then you're painting it on following that line. So you're painting it on as if it's eyeliner. Now, I worked this out years ago and I've been doing it ever since, right? There is no point doing lashes the way people tell you to do lashes, i.e. paint the glue onto the lash, let it go tacky and then try and stick it on. There's no point in doing that. And the reason being is if you misplace it, if you don't put it in exactly the right place, you're waving this lash about with glue on it and if you don't get it in the right place you could end up with glue all over your face so by doing it this way painting it onto your eyeline onto your eyeliner as if it's eyeliner then you stick the lash into the glue and there's only one place it can go so you're not going to get glue all over your bloody face um and you don't have to worry about where you're sticking it because you can only stick it into the glue now i reuse lashes so i've just picked the old glue off those ones because i there's no point in throwing them away they're expensive and they are reusable so literally by the time you pick the glue off the old lashes then the glue on your eyes has gone a bit tacky and you just stick the lash into it <laughs> can you hear that that's one of my cats skinny that's skinny cat and she wants attention. She's normally sitting on my lap while I'm doing my makeup. It's very, very difficult doing makeup with a cat on your lap. Um, I will show you her in a minute. Anyway, look. Do you see how easy that was? None of this messing, none of this painting glue onto the lash, none of that. You literally draw it on like eyeliner. You stick the lash into it. Da -da! Done. How easy is that? How easy and how quick? I cannot believe people still put glue on the actual lash. Even makeup artists do it. I can't count how many jobs I've been at where the makeup artist has been there painting the glue onto the lash and then trying to place it on my eye. And you think you see this lash coming towards you with loads of glue on it, and you think, oh. Uh, is she, she going to get that in the right place? And then when they don't, you have got such a mission on your hands um, to try and clean up the glue and, uh, you know, clean up the glue, then redo it. It's a nightmare. But anyway, doing it that way, I think, and it's still drying, so it's not quite... If you've got any glue um, that's kind of in the wrong place, you know, like showing or whatever you just go back over it get your liquid eyeliner and go back over the glue once it's dry of course and then you've just got the perfect line the perfect lash and the perfect eye now i'm going to show you skinny cat say hello skinny say hello she's got the perfect eyes haven't you you're a beauty you're a beauty Skinny's a rescue cat and she likes to sit on my lap while I do my makeup every day. Can you hear her purring? Look at this cat. Oh. 
I love you, skinny lady. <laughs> um, okay, so last thing um, I will show you is I don't tend to put eyeliner underneath my eyes. Um, and the reason being is I think it just looks a bit harsh. So what I do is I use a big flat kind of brush. Now I've got cat hair in my mouth. Um, and I use, this one is, um, I don't even know what it's called. It's, it's basically like a browny, goldy, glittery one. Eyeshadow, that is, from MAC. I'm not sure what the colour's called. Um, but I just go under my eye with this brush like that. And I do that, and you just kind of blend it in, because then there's no harsh lines. You've got a really nice, like, bottom to your eye, but there's no harsh lines. And then, a bit more mascara, just on the bottom lashes. And that is you done, basically eyes and did you see how simple that was this is literally brown shadow in the crease a paler lighter shimmery powder on the lid a flick of eyeliner bit of mascara stick your lashes on shadow underneath and a bit of mascara on the um, bottom lashes and I think that that is a very nice, very glam eye. You can make it more glam by adding more glitter or by adding black shadow, doing a big smoky eye to it. But actually, that can serve as a day or a night eye because um, it's glamorous enough for night time. But actually, if you want real glamour in the day, perfect. Um, Skinny agrees, she says goodbye, and she loves you, and um, <laughs> and she's a beauty, and I love her, she's so beautiful. And um, so basically, I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, I'm still so new to this, it's ridiculous, I still don't actually know what I'm doing, um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, um, oh, I'm supposed to tell you to uh, click like or thumbs up or whatever the thing is thumbs up give it a thumbs up um and also subscribe i'm supposed to tell you to do that as well um and um can you um oh yeah leave a comment saying what you want me to make a video on next so if there's anything in particular you want to see if you want to see more of my animals if you want to see me on a dog walk if you want to see me in the gym if you want to see my walk-in wardrobe, which you're seeing a little of behind me now, it's amazing, amazing. It's girl heaven, my walk-in wardrobe. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more of that, um, whatever you want to see, just basically leave a comment on this video and tell me. And I aim to please you. So um, I will do my best to make all the videos you want and like and need in your life. Um, actually, I want to do some cooking ones and some nutrition ones because I'm quite a good cook. Uh, you may know that I won Celebrity Come Dine with me. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I'm quite a good cook and I like cooking. I love cooking. And um, so I aim to do some cooking videos. But, yeah, do tell me what you want to see and I will um, do my best to make all the videos that you want. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got very glamorous eyes now, like me. And um, and remember to reuse your eyelashes because they're expensive. Over and out. Have a good day.